Hi, and welcome back to Let's Bark About It. On today's show, we have with us Jody from Animal Services and Lori from Superior Street Cats. Thanks for being with us today, ladies. Thanks Thank for you having for having us. us. So um, I had a few questions because your two uh, organizations are affiliated. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about Superior Street Cats and the program uh, that was developed between yourself and Animal Services. Um, Lori, can you tell me how the program got started? We started back in spring of 2015 and uh, we, we went to council along with Jody and asked permission to start a pilot project to do a trap, neuter and return. And we were successful so we went back and we had permission to continue on with the program. So this was a pilot project yes. that became successful. And so Animal Services, um, which is run by the city, uh, is, is basically identified this problem. Maybe just tell me a little bit about how that came to, uh, to your knowledge. Well, uh, I, uh, Superior Street Cats was formed, as Lori said, back in 2015 by um, a woman that identified, uh, she was very passionate about cats and she identified a problem in Thunder Bay with a number of cats that are euthanized every year. Mm -hmm. um, back probably a decade ago, animal services would bring in probably about 1,200 cats a year and of those 1,200 cats, more than 80% were euthanized. Wow. So in recognition of those high numbers, Superior Street Cats was formed and the need for a trap, neuter and, and return program was established. We went to council, as Laurie said, mm -hmm. the pro pilot program got started and uh, we saw that there was a lot of success. Uh, we noticed after the first year, or pardon me, after the first six months after the pilot project, the numbers were already starting to uh, decline. The number of free roaming cats coming into the center were lower, and of course the number of cats that were euthanized was lower. So that uh, helped us to seek approval once again to council to continue the program, and we're okay. seeing amazing results. That is awesome. So just tell me a little bit about the trap neuter release um, process and why instead of bringing these animals in, it's better to leave them in their colonies. Sure. Well, what we do is we're usually contacted by someone who's caring for a colony of the street cats. You know, the people that feed them and, and give them shelter quite often. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we go to the colony and we actually humanely trap. We have live traps and we take them back and they're taken to the vet where they're all fixed and given their shots. And then we return them to the colony again. And you want to bring them back because cats are very territorial. So if you just keep removing the cats and taking them to animal services and they end up euthanized, more cats just keep moving in. Mm -hmm. If you return the cats to their colony, they maintain their space. And they tend to be healthier. They stop a lot of the problem uh, spraying and screaming um, and they're a little more content and of course no more kittens which right. is a big which is big right right um, so the uh, so as far as Superior Street Cats goes is it volunteer run it's all volunteers um, we have a great group of volunteers that help us with the trapping the, we have to have people that care for the cats while they're in our care of course the vets we can't do without the vets they all volunteer their time in their clinic to uh, do the, the spay and neuters for us. And, um, and then we have the, you know, and of course the caregivers, right? Without the caregivers, we wouldn't be contacted to help the cats. Mm -hmm. So as far as, as um, you said that you wanted for folks to, who, who identify these colonies and find these colonies to be able to contact. Yes, we, uh, we really need people to contact us. You know, some people, they seem to be a little bit hesitant whether they think they're going to get in trouble because they're feeding the cats. It's not like feeding the squirrels, you know, where you're, you're going to get in trouble. Right. If you're caring for a colony, you know, contact us and uh, we'll be glad to come and talk to you and, and see what we can do to help. Right, because your sole purpose is to come in, care for these cats, yes. but make sure that they're fixed, they're spayed and neutered. That's right, they're spayed and neutered and, uh, and often we'll supply um, shelters for them, winter shelters, and we've provided in the past some heated water bowls for the winter. Yes. Um, and even when we get donations of food, we try and pass it on as well. 
Great, okay. So um, as far as becoming a volunteer and working with the organization, how can somebody who's interested in taking part in this? What they can do, they can email us at superiorstreetcats at hotmail.com mm -hmm. or they can contact Animal Services and they'll pass the information on. And we just get them to fill out a basic application telling us what their interests are because we have all different projects that you can do, right? Even if it's just to help fundraise or build shelters, you don't have to do it all if you don't want to. Okay. And we're glad to take the help. Great. And so with the winter months coming, um, I know I've seen a lot of these winter houses yes. and these animals living outdoors. Tell me a little bit about that. What we do is we often get donations of the large styrofoam coolers mm -hmm. and we, we build little shelters out of them. We cut just the right size hole and we insulate them with straw mm -hmm. and weigh them down and we give them to the caregivers so that the cats have somewhere warm and out of the wind, just you know, so they're a little bit cozy. And we've also built uh, some feeding stations as well, depending where they are. Right, okay. And so people, I know, can contribute in the community by doing this as well. Right? That's right. And it's very easy <laughs> to build if you want to build them yourself. There's all kinds of videos online, but you can also contact us and we can help give you information as well. And every once in a while, we'll have an open house at Animal Services and we'll do a little demonstration and let people come and help build houses. So you said that you have a website? Or a Facebook page? We have a Facebook page, Superior Street Cats, and uh, you can also message us on that as well. And okay. we try to answer as quickly as possible. Okay. Um, and so, so um, as far as the, the program goes, it's very unique to this city. How do you believe that it's impacted the city of Thunder Bay? I think it's made a big difference. Like Jody said, just the uh, euthanasia is down, and when a cat from our colony is returned, is uh, picked up and brought into animal services, we can usually identify it because the, the cats that are part of our program have their ear tip taken off. Oh, okay. And uh, we usually get a, a call from animal services or an email with a picture of the cat mm -hmm. and to see if it's one of ours and where it was from and then the cat will get, get to be taken back home. Okay, that return back to yep. the colony. Back to the colony. Great. And that's actually worked quite well for us. So this program has now been running for two years. Two years. And do you foresee it, you know, extending into the future and being something long term for this city? Or well, that's something our role as animal services will continue to monitor the program, monitor the number of cats that we're dealing with, monitor the number of cats coming into animal services, and the number of cats that are euthanized. Mm -hmm. And if the numbers continue to go down. I'm sure we would have council support in continuing on with the program. So this is something that they continue to, to be in support of? Yes, so far they have been. I, I will <laughs> also mention that this program is funded entirely through donation dollars. Yes. There are no tax dollars involved, so wow. it, it is a program that does not affect the uh, animal services budget at all. Perfect, and we're going to talk a little bit more about fundraising when we come back. We're going to take a short break. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.